Some colleges and universities will be test optional for fall 2021 admission due to the coronavirus. So what does this mean for high school students? We'll tell you how students can find out if they need to take the exam for their dream college application and how to stay on track. I think it's definitely intimidating and a little scary that I'm going into senior year having not had a test score on file and like have the opportunity to take a test. For Madison Winkler, a senior at American Heritage School, the announcement of students possibly not having to take the SAT or ACT exams came as a shock. Excited, but then like thinking about uh, how I was prepping for it and stuff, it was also kind of like a oh, bummer kind of thing because like when you put the work in for something like you want to be able to like show that work in. Now the pandemic has changed the way Madison and students around the world prepare for college. I think if it doesn't get waived, it could affect where students decide to go. Sharon Bikendo is a college advisor at American Heritage School. She says more than half of all of the U.S. four-year colleges and universities will be test optional for fall 2021 admission, meaning schools are going to be more selective. So what should students consider? University of Chicago about two years ago went SAT optional. Last year, I believe their admissions selectivity rate was 7%. So they look at lots of things. They do look at their extracurriculars, their grades. I think things like your essay, your letters of recommendation, if the school looks at it, that's going to play more heavily. The big worry for families, how not having SAT or ACT scores will impact their child's college dreams. Some advice? Take the exam if you can. It will help you stand out from other candidates. If you take the tests and you do well on an SAT or an ACT, you can submit that and it will help your application. It's not just as simple as, are they going test optional? Because let me, let me give you an example. At FAU, at FAU, you have until December 1st, if you'd like a scholarship, that you have to get those test scores in. So even if they don't necessarily require an SAT or ACT for admissions decisions, if you want a scholarship, you do need to take the SAT or the ACT. Ethan Fieldsman is the CEO of Math Nation, an online mathematics teaching and learning platform. The company is offering free courses until August to students who need help prepping for a standardized exam. There's practice problems, there's videos, there's everything students need to do well on really any standardized test in math, not just the SAT. For now, Madison says she's taking this as an opportunity to study over the summer. As crazy as everything's been, I think we also have a little bit of advantage and like that advantage is time. And if you utilize that time correctly, you have much more time and you don't have to balance it as much as you would with like schoolwork and stuff. So like I'm looking forward to like being able to take the test, like having just finished prepping for it. So here's a quick rebound rundown. We recommend to call your school's admissions office to see if they're requiring an SAT or ACT exam score for your application, or you can find a list of colleges on fairtest.org. Also, check to see if they're offering any scholarships and if taking the exam will help you stand out from other candidates. If you need help prepping for the exam, you can find more information about Math Nation on our website, wsfltv.com. Just click the rebound. Melissa Marrero, WSFL-TV.